Today I'm going to be sharing with you the three most popular amps that most um, homeowner or business owner uh, may need. Alright, so like I said, um, today I'm showing you three of the most popular amplifiers that I think, in my opinion, uh, any homeowner or commercial business owner may need. And those three are a whole home audio amplifier. So this amplifier is specifically uh, meant for whole home audio, but you can use it for other needs, but we'll talk about this in a minute. That is a multi-zone amplifier that we have here. And then lastly, a 70 volt amplifier. And we're gonna talk about that as well. So whole home audio, multi-zone, and 70 volt. Those are the three most popular. I'm gonna hold up right here and say that I'm purposefully leaving out the home theater amplifier, which that's probably realistically the most common amplifier you would find in anybody's household because a lot of people have theaters and surround sounds. Um, so this video is not really um, you know, geared towards that. That's a very specialized amplifier. This is the broader market of amplifiers. So I just wanted to mention that um, I'm purposefully leaving out the home theater amplifier. And I get questions every day and I try to help people, you know, pick the right one because some people don't know, you know, what, what they need for their situation. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. I think that this video will be, hopefully be helpful for you guys that are kind of um, confused about what direction you may need to go. So first up is the whole home audio amplifier. Now, if you're looking for any of these amplifiers, check the description. I'll have links to all of these products that I am, am showing right now. Um, you can also, of course, you know, do your own searching and, and find something else, but um, I really have loved these amplifiers. So check the description if you uh, wanna know some more information about them. And I've, I've got some coupon codes as well that I think you can, uh, you'll be able to get like a 15% discount on any of these products. So this is um, a dedicated whole home audio amplifier. Now, um, why would you pick this? Um, because when you think about a whole home audio, and I said, I called this one a multi-zone, um, they kind of sound the same, and they actually also look the same. And, and there's some differences of why you might pick one over the other. So this whole home audio amplifier, this is the WS66i. I did a whole series on my channel, so if you want to know more about whole home audio specifically, check my channel, and I've got a whole series where I did an install from start to finish, and that's on my channel. So this one here, you can hook up six sources, and a lot of the questions that I ask people when I'm trying to tell them you know, which one they may need to go, it comes down to really like two or three questions, and those questions are, how do you want to do your sources? So how many do you need multiple sources? Do you want other zones to tune in to those sources? Do you want like a one for one? So maybe you're running a TV in a specific zone. And so each source has its particular, uh, each zone has its particular source. So the questions I ask are, how, how do you want to do your sources? Um, how do you, uh, do you need any sharing? How do you, how many speakers do you want? You know, that's the next and most important question. Those two questions right there, I can pretty much tell people uh, which one of these would be the best for their application. So with this whole home audio amplifier, um, this one is a six zone amplifier. You can actually connect um, up to two more of these. So you can have three of these up to 18 zones sharing only the six sources. So that's, you know, the limitation of this one is that you've only got six sources and um, any of the zones can listen in and, and share those sources. Okay, so there's sharing that's built into this amplifier and they use a digital keypad and it's, it's very nice and aesthetically pleasing. I like these uh, keypads a lot versus um, the analog style, which is either like a slider or a rotary dial. So that's, that's this one right here. Um, six sources, um, up to 18 zones, and also the speakers per zone you can get um, without using the preamp outputs, which I've already done a video on what these are, but that's, that's getting kind of away from this, the topic of this video, so I'm not gonna go over that, but without using the preamp outputs, um, any of the zones, of the six zones, could have up to four speakers without using another external amplifier. So keep that in mind. So any of the zones, it's built for, it's really built for two speakers per zone, a left and a right, but you can easily get up to four speakers per zone with this one. Now that brings us over to the multi-zone amplifier. It looks pretty much the same, um, 
but on the back, we're gonna start seeing some differences. And you can use this multi-zone for whole home audio in your house. And actually, in fact, if you have uh, already like whole speakers in your house, I know a lot of people contact me and say that homeowners, when they sell their house, they take the amplifier, so then that leaves the new homeowner trying to figure out what do I need to buy to make my stuff work. Um, a lot of those older systems that have the rotary dials, um, those use like a multi-zone amplifier like this. So if you want something to just drop in and have it work with your rotary styles, this is probably the, the way you wanna go. But you can also convert that type of a system um, without too much effort to one of these and use the digital style. So that brings us into this multi-zone. How does it differ? So these multi-zones, they are a little bit more powerful than like the whole home audio amplifier. But for a whole home application, that usually doesn't even matter for most people. But you can get these in um, four zones, six zones, and eight zone models. So you can get more zones, or you can have less zones if you need and save a little bit of money. So they still have the concept of zones, but what you have to do with these is, uh, of course, you, you have to provide your own um, volume controls and hook those up differently. Those get hooked up differently than the digital style keypad. These run over ethernet cable. And so uh, these, of course, run with speaker cable. Um, they're in line with your ceiling speakers. And so that's how the amplifier is delivering its power into these. And then the output side of your volume control goes to the speakers and that's how it controls the volume. So um, you don't get digital keypads with these. Um, and the other difference is that the sources, the way the sources are handled on this is also different. So with these multi-zone, um, you can have one source dedicated to each zone, or you can have, uh, there's a bus input, and the bus input is fed to all zones. So, um, but there is no source sharing other than that bus. So what that means is that, you know, if you have like an Amazon Echo hooked up to one, or even an Echo hooked up to all of them, or a, you know, your TV inputted into all of these, um, you know, zone one cannot listen to any audio on zone two, three, or four, you know, five, six, or eight, you can't there is no sharing. So you've either got the one shared source, uh, actually I think there's two, but only one thing can be playing, but your bus is the bus that would output audio to all of the zones. Um, so either all of the zones are listening to that bus audio or all of the zones are listening to their individual audio. So I, I tell people, so uh, I tell people who like, have either like a restaurant who has um, TV zones that they're trying to do um, because those are going to be dedicated and they don't need that sharing. Or there's a lot of people that want an Amazon Echo in all of their rooms. And so I tell them that that's probably the way to go with this one um, because you can have that dedicated, um, you know, sources. And when you get the higher zones, like the eight zone, that means you have eight source inputs as well. Whereas this one, um, you know, really you've got the six. That's not really meant to have, you know, a dedicated, uh, uh, source for each zone. So, um, and then the speakers, um, of course, you can run um, as many speakers as you want to off of these, as long as the input impedance is um, is matching for this amplifier. So, that's the multi-zone. And then that brings us lastly to this small but powerful uh, 70 volt amplifier. Now this one's actually, it can do normal speakers. So it can do your four ohm or eight ohm standard ceiling speakers, or um, it doesn't even have to be ceiling speakers. I always, I just uh, do a lot of ceiling speakers myself. And so that's why I reference that, but it can be any speaker. But um, the 70 volt amplifier, you can have hundreds and hundreds of speakers on this amplifier and um, spanning far distances. So the best example I can give you for this one is like if you go into like a Walmart and you wonder how Walmart, you know, throughout their entire store is running audio. Um, it is with a 70 volt system because you only need one wire coming out of the amplifier and you just daisy chain all your speakers together. So just think about one wire just going through the entire store and they just daisy chain together. And because it's running over the higher voltage, which is that 70 volts. Um, so with this one, you can also create zones, what I would call zones, because at any point on your bus, 
you can put in an inline speaker uh, volume control. It has to be a 70 volt volume control, but they look the exact same. It's just a little bit of different circuitry. So you can create a zone um, using volume controls that are in line with your speakers at any point. But uh, yeah, this would be more for either a residential application where you want to just run like one you know, continuous bus. Um, you only get one source input, so you only have one line input. Um, so you could use you know, like a, a three and a half millimeter to RCA cable. So you, know, you plug in your phone, uh, computer, any other device like that. So you don't really get, uh, you don't get more than just one source input. So that's the downfall of this amplifier. But this is for those people that need long runs. Okay, let me stop right here and mention what I'm talking about when I say long runs. With a 70 volt system, because it's running at a higher voltage, think of about like your electrical wire that runs miles and miles to other towns. That's kind of what is happening with these speakers. So you can run, look at this diagram that I'm gonna put up here. You can run literally miles on one cable and not have much signal loss. So that's what this diagram is showing is that like if you have an outdoor business or a landscaping business and you you know you want to run speakers all throughout your you know your your tree area or you know whatever it may be you can literally run hundreds and thousands and thousands of feet over that one cable um, i mean it's amazing so that, that's what's great about these 70 volt systems so that's what i mean when you can go long runs and typically in a four ohm or eight ohm normal you know normal impedance setting that's not 70 volt you cannot run that long of distances because you will have signal loss like you wouldn't believe and typically you know a couple hundred feet and you're gonna have signal loss you can't really run your signal cable you know that long so that's where the 70 volt system really shines and I'm actually uh, filming another series for my channel where we're gonna be talking a lot more about this so stay tuned for that we're gonna get uh, into some very high powered 70 volt amplifiers but um, yeah long runs uh, hundreds of speakers, you don't even need hundreds, but um, you can seriously get hundreds of speakers because you don't have to worry about um, any kind of ohms with a 70 volt system. So yeah, I think, I think that wraps it up for this one. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I just wanted to briefly touch about why you'd pick one of these. And if you still have questions, just leave them in the comments and I like to reply to all the comments. Check the video description and uh, I've got coupons for all these for 15% off. And uh, hope to be hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching.